this is Rachel Stone with Commonwealth Computer Training in Richmond, Virginia, and this is a demonstration of the Quick Analysis tool in Excel 2013. This tool puts data analysis features that are located in different parts of the ribbon all in one quick and easy shortcut. Now there's a few ways to get to the data analysis shortcut. You can first select your range of data and you'll see the button appear to the lower right. You can also right click within your range of data and choose quick analysis or you can use the control Q keyboard shortcut. Now once it's open you'll see you have five different quick analysis options available. Formatting uh, has the conditional formatting tools. Um, conditional formatting applies colorful fills or icons in your cells to indicate their relative value. Note that this has a live preview. You can see the preview as I roll over the different options. I'll go with the greater than option and choose my sales goal and click OK. I'm going to go back to quick analysis and let's take a look at the spark lines. Now a spark line is like a little mini chart that illustrates trends. I'll choose the line option. Notice that inserts it in the next column here and I see a line that illustrates a trend for each salesperson. I'll go back to right click again to get to quick analysis and let's take a look at the charts. Now Excel provides a few recommended chart types here. These chart types may vary depending on the data that you have and you'll see this is also live preview. I'll select this uh, column chart and move that over to the side. Now our workbook is looking rather busy so I'll go back and um, undo these last few changes and uh, let's start fresh with another quick analysis option. Let's go to totals and this will actually insert a uh, totals row or you can view average, count, etc. across the bottom of your data. I'll go with the sum and you'll see I have a sum row inserted. You can also insert a column as well. I'll go back to totals and use this button to go to the right and I see different columnar options. In this case I'll choose percent of total. Now the last option um, that we haven't covered yet that's uh, the tables option. And with tables, uh, it applies a format to your cells where Excel treats this group as a private group of data uh, with shaded banded rows, filter arrows along the header row, and more. So I'll choose table, and I'll go ahead and deselect so you can see my banded rows, you can see the filters, and so on. Again, this was just a quick look at the quick analysis tools in Excel 2013. Thanks so much for watching.